Sunrise, sunset. Welcome to the vibrant coastal city of Virginia Beach, Virginia. This vacation destination is beautiful, full of fun family activities, interesting history, unique districts to explore, amazing restaurants, and lovely beaches. It's a great place to unwind and recharge. You can watch the sunrise over the Atlantic Ocean and the sun set over Chesapeake Bay, all on the same day. The Guinness Book of Records lists Virginia Beach as having the longest pleasure beach in the world. It's located at the southern end of the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel, which had the designation of being the longest bridge tunnel in the world until 2018. There are seven unique districts in the city, each with its own personality and offerings, and truly, all are worth checking out. Here are some of the top things to do and see during your time at Virginia Beach. The most popular place to begin is the Virginia Beach Boardwalk and Oceanfront. The wide beach boasts golden sand and sunny summer days. The boardwalk, just behind the beach, is a three-mile paved road for walkers and bikers. Atlantic Avenue runs parallel to the boardwalk and features shopping, hotels, and restaurants. The entire scene is quintessential beachy, low-key, and relaxed. Other beaches include Sandbridge Beach, which is south of the more populated Oceanfront District. It's filled with dunes and picturesque sea oats. Chesapeake Bay Beach, known by locals as Chicks Beach, offers the calmer waters of Chesapeake Bay. Make sure you stick around for the sunset too, because it's stunning in front of the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. Virginia Beach is home to two state parks that offer an array of activities. First Landing State Park is a registered national natural landmark and is the most visited state park in Virginia. There are 19 miles of hiking trails and just over a mile of beachfront on Chesapeake Bay. False Cape State Park has 15 miles of hiking and biking trails and six miles of natural beach that includes dunes, marshes, woodlands, a maritime forest, and swamps. Birding is exceptional here with over 300 different species of nesting and migratory birds. There's lots of other wildlife to spot too. Deer, otter, fox, turtles, bald eagles, and wild horses. The Cape Henry Lighthouse was the first U.S. government-funded lighthouse, authorized by George Washington and built in 1792. It was actually the first federal construction project after the Revolutionary War. It's the fourth oldest lighthouse in the country. You're able to climb to the top of this national historic landmark and take in the gorgeous views of the coast. Oh the history that this lighthouse has seen. In 1881, another lighthouse was built just 350 feet away from the original. Both of these are on the Fort Story military base. Another point of interest is the Black Bay National Wildlife Refuge. These 9,000 acres are home to barrier islands, marshes, beaches, dunes, and woodlands. This refuge is home to lots of threatened and endangered wildlife. For the history lovers, you might enjoy a stroll down the Virginia Legends Walk. It honors Virginians who have made a significant contribution to society. It's a self-guided tour where you can learn about Thomas Jefferson, Booker T. Washington, Ella Fitzgerald, Arthur Ashe, Patsy Cline, and Edgar Allan Poe, to name a few. You could also visit the Virginia Military Aviation Museum. 
They have 70 planes from World War I and World War II on display. All of them are fully restored to their glory and shown in several hangars. There is also the Royal Air Force Gox Hill Control Tower, which was turned over to the U.S. in 1942, making it the first American airbase in England during World War II. It was fully deconstructed outside of London and then reconstructed here as a monument. Check out the world-famous Mount Trashmore Park if you're looking for an afternoon away from the beach, but still outside. This 165-acre park has two man-made mountains composed of, well, trash. Recognized for its environmental features, it was made by compacting solid waste in layers with clean soil. It rises 60 feet high and is 800 feet long. There are some lakes, playgrounds, a skate park, grills, and picnic tables. There are lots of lawn games to rent, like badminton, cornhole, and any kind of ball you can imagine. Mount Trashmore is an excellent place to fly a kite. Did you love climbing trees as a kid? If you need a little adrenaline boost during your stay at Virginia Beach, go to the Adventure Park. They've got 17 treetop trails. 258 treetop platforms, and 27 zip lines. It's a maze of ropes, bridges, ladders, and amazing fun. If you don't want to give up a beach day, you can head to Adventure Park once it gets dark for Glow in the Park, under the canopy of trees lit by thousands of LED lights. Of course, a wonderful way to spend the day is out on the water. Take a whale or dolphin watching tour, or take a charter fishing trip. You can also rent kayaks or paddle boards from a variety of companies. You can also head out on the Lynn Haven River for an oyster farming boat tour. If you are in town on a Saturday morning, make sure to check out the Old Beach Farmer's Market and celebrate all things local and fresh. The culinary scene here is pretty incredible. There are so many unique places to explore. Grab breakfast at the quaint The Bee and the Biscuit in the Pungo District and enjoy the fanciest iced coffee you've ever indulged in. And be sure to take a layered mason jar dessert home with you. Try the Burnt Ends Sandwich for lunch at Whitner's Pit Smoked Barbecue. It was featured on Food Network's Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. The 12-hour roasted beef melts in your mouth. Top it off at Steinhilber's for seafood, water views, and twinkling outside lights. Virginia Beach also boasts some really cool themed restaurants that are totally worth visiting. If you're a Beatles fan, you need to check out Abbey Road Pub with its completely Beatles-themed decor, menu, and 80 beers on tap. The Young Veterans Brewing Company is veteran-owned and military-themed and offers up some World War II artwork and tasty brews. And finally, there is the Pizza Chapel. This place used to actually be a wedding chapel. Today, it's a favorite local pizza joint where you can enjoy some tying the knot garlic knots and Hawaiian honeymoon pizza, all with original chapel pews and flowered wallpaper. Virginia Beach has a vibrant art scene in the Vibe District and celebrates the arts with sculptures and murals all throughout the city. Here are a few of the highlights that are fun to see. Be sure to check out The Canoes, a stainless steel Donald Lipsky sculpture featuring 10 canoes in a star pattern. Located at the Lesnar Bridge, it both welcomes travelers and pays tribute to the history of the local waterways. King Neptune is a 24-foot, 12-ton bronze statue 
along the Virginia Beach boardwalk. This Roman god of the sea is a popular photo spot, particularly at sunrise. The Virginia Museum of Contemporary Art has a 14-foot glass chandelier by the famous Dale Chihuly. It contains 520 separate blown glass pieces. Its name means 1,000 colors, and it's spellbinding. As you can see, there are plenty of things to do here in Virginia Beach if you can pull yourself away from the ocean waves long enough to explore all of the fun activities and eateries here. It's a vacation spot that you will want to return to again and again. What are you waiting for? You definitely want your next sunrise and sunset to be here in Virginia Beach. Thanks for watching Shore Me Some More. If you enjoyed this video, please click to subscribe to our channel and hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to tap the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to know when we post our next story about the shores, outdoors, and more.